This lecture will cover factoring by grouping. When you have a polynomial with four terms, you must use factoring by grouping. Let's look at our first example. 2x cubed, negative 8x squared, negative 3x, positive 12. We must remember terms are separated by a plus or minus sign. So therefore we have one, two, three, four terms and must use factoring by grouping. And using factoring by grouping, I like to group two terms together with something that they, because of something they have in common, whether it's a GCF or whether it's a variable. So I'll group the first two terms together and the second two terms together. This is because the first two terms have a GCF of two and they both have x's in common. The last two terms have a GCF of negative three. So I'll factor each side individually by GCF. The GCF of two x third and negative eight x squared is two x squared. Two x squared into two x to the third goes x times. Two x squared into negative eight x squared goes negative four times. The GCF of three and 12 is three but we remember that when the leading coefficient is negative, we'll use the opposite of this positive three, negative. So negative three goes into negative three x, x times. Negative three goes into a positive 12, negative four times. In factoring by grouping, the next step is to look at and be very careful with is if the terms in the parentheses repeat themselves, and we see yes, they do x negative 4 and x negative 4 is repeating itself. Therefore, we know we're on the right track. If this was not the case, then maybe we did a math error in the beginning, did not group correctly, or something of that nature. But they repeat itself. So, if we look at this as one long polynomial again, the GCF of this line would be x negative 4. So, x negative 4 is written out. And then the ones on the outside, the 2x squared and the negative 3, can be written together. 2x squared, negative 3. Now we factored by grouping. Let's try another example. We have 2a, negative 2b, positive xa, negative xb. Once again, we see 1, 2, 3, and 4 terms. Therefore, we know we must use factoring by grouping. So, I'll group the first two terms together and the second two terms together. This is because I see that the first two terms have a two in common. The second two terms have x's in common. So why not group those together? So I factor out the GCF for the first two terms, which is two. Two goes into two a, a times. 2 goes into negative 2b, negative b times. Next, I factor out the GCF of xa and xb. x is the GCF. x goes into xa, a times. x goes into xb, negative b times. Once again, I see the repeated binomial in both sides. That's letting me know I'm on the right path. I didn't make any errors yet. So what repeats itself can be rewritten as a minus b. Those on the outside, the 2 and the x, can be written as 2, and it's a positive x. And this is the factorization by grouping. 